All right, what's up guys? So moving on with uh, strategies to solve limits, we're uh, going to be dealing with the change of variable strategy now. Now this strategy out of all the strategies in this chapter is, uh, is definitely the toughest one. So uh, make sure you get a lot of practice uh, in with it. We're gonna do three examples here and there's a lot of steps to do. So make sure you take careful notes and, um, and you do your best to follow along. So we're gonna start with an example here. So we got the limit as x approaches 64 of 64 minus x over x to the power of 1 third minus four. Now, with limits, what's the first thing we always check for? We see if we can directly substitute um, the x value into the limit. And if we substitute 64 in, we'll get a denominator of zero because 64 to the power of 1 third is four and then four minus four uh, that's zero, so we can't do that. And then notice when I when I did the change of variable overview, I said that usually we use this strategy when we have an ugly exponent, so or a weird exponent, quote unquote. So I got this x to the power of one over three. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to introduce a new variable. So with these types of questions, what I always do is I always start with a general substitution. And the first thing I always write down is um, what exponents are we dealing with? So this x here by itself, that's like to the power of one. And then this x is to the power of one over three. So if I write these down, let's write the one first. So let's write one over one and then I got one over three. So these are the two exponents that I'm dealing with. So the general substitution you always make, it's always the new variable will be u, and we say u is equal to x to the power of one over the lowest common denominator between the exponents, the lowest common denominator. Now, a lot of teachers sometimes like to say, and I was guilty of this in the past as well, of saying that um, the correct substitution is x to the power of the lowest exponent, but that's not correct. Uh, it's correct in this case because the lowest common denominator between these will be three, so it'll be one third, it'll be this exponent, but in the next example, I'll show you why that's not correct. But anyway, so the lowest common denominator between these, uh, these two exponents is three, so the general substitution we make is u is equal to x to the power of one over three. So now that we have, uh, now that we have our general substitution, what we're gonna have to do with this question is we're gonna have to find an expression to sub in for x to the power of one, to sub in for x to the power of one third, and to sub in for this expression, x to the power of 64. So pretty much what we wanna do is we wanna take this limit and we want to change it so everything is in terms of u. That's why it's called change of variable. We're making a new variable here. So let's start with, uh, with finding an expression for uh, as x approaches 64. So as x approaches 64, we need to find an equivalent expression as u approaches something. So what we can do is we can use our general substitution here. So u equals x to the power of one over three, and then uh, sub in 64 for x. So u equals 64 to the power of one over three. So u, the third root of 64, is, uh, is just four. So as x approaches 64, that's equivalent to you approaching four. All right, so let's make a, um, let's deal with this one now, this x to the power of one. The first thing we write down is always our first, um, our general substitution here. So u equals x to the power of one over three. And now what we want is we want to somehow get this x to the power of one over three to equal x to the power of one. So what can we do 
to this x to the power 1 over 3 to make it equal to 1. Well, we could take it to the power of 3, right? Because x to the power 1 over 3, uh, to the power of 3, you multiply the exponents, so 3 times 1 third is just 1. Okay, so what we do to one side, since we took this whole side and we uh, took it to the power of 3, we got to take this side to the power of 3 as well. And then we'll just get u third, u to the power of 3 is just equal to x to the power of 1, or just x. So that will be our next substitution for this. And then x to the power of 1 over 3, well, notice that we already have that substitution here from our general substitution that we made, right? And x to the power of 1 over 3 is just equal to u. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three new expressions that we made in terms of u and sub it into our limit equation. So let's rewrite this. So we got the limit. As x approaches 64, okay, we got a new expression as u approaches 4. And then we got 64 minus x to the power of 1. Now x to the power of 1, we got an expression for that as u to the power of 3. So we'll write 64 minus u to the power of 3 over x to the power of 1 over 3. Uh, we have a substitution as u. So u minus 4. So notice how we took this limit and we change it to this limit and all the x's are gone and now this limit is all in terms of u. Hence we change the variable. And as you can see this limit is a lot nicer to work with than this one. There's no like weird exponents here and you could already tell that we're gonna have to factor. This is gonna be a, um, a difference of cubes. And, um, and it's just a lot smoother in general to work with. So let's, uh, let's factor this 64 minus uh, u to the power of 3. So that's just going to be a, uh, a difference of cubes. And uh, you use the formula that I, um, that I went over in the uh, previous video, in the change of variable overview video. So when you do this, uh, difference of cubes, you'll get 4 minus u, u, uh, sorry, 16 plus 4u plus u squared, all over u minus 4. Now, notice how we still can't directly substitute this as u goes to 4 because our denominator will be 0. So we got to somehow get rid of this expression in the denominator. So let's continue this here. So equals limit as u goes to 4. So what we can do to make this expression equal to this bracket is we could factor out a negative from this bracket. Right, because if we factor out a negative, we'll end up with positive u and negative 4. So, and it'll just be u minus 4. So, we take out a negative from the first bracket in the numerator. We end up with u minus 4. And then we rewrite the second bracket as is. So, we'll have 16 plus 4u plus u squared over u minus 4. And then notice how the u minus 4s cancel out. So we'll have the limit as u goes to 4 of negative, rewrite this bracket, 16 plus 4u plus u squared. And now we can sub in our, um, our 4 for u and not have the uh, expression be undefined. So we'll have negative 16 plus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 4 squared is 16 and we end up with our final answer of negative 48. All right, so the limit to this original um, expression as x approaches 64 of this, uh, of this function is, um, is negative 48. So let's do a quick recap of what we did here. So we had this, uh, we had this limit. First, we tried to directly substitute. That didn't work because the denominator was 0. Then we had this, uh, this weird exponent, so we know we have to do a, uh, a change of variable strategy, made a general substitution, and then we found expressions for, um, 
as x goes to 64, x to the power of 1 third, x to the power of 1. We did some algebra here, then we subbed in those new expressions that we have for our, um, our x values. We got a new limit in terms of u, factored it, difference of cubes, did some algebra, ended up with negative 48.